Good afternoon, vaping friends. This is AJ, the vaping Yorkshireman. Obviously, if it's not afternoon, ignore that. It might be morning, it might be evening, it might be the middle of the night. But anyway, hello. Um, I'm just doing a quick, quick wicking tutorial on the lovely OBS engine. Uh, I'm not going to do a coiling um, bit because otherwise that would change the title of the video. It's a wicking tutorial. Um, I'm doing this because I've seen a lot of people commenting that you know the wicking is not very good and they're not getting very good flavour and all that kind of malarkey. Um, me personally, I think the engine is fantastic. I think the flavour on it is 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 great. It's it's nearly on par with um, some of the drippers I've got. Um, I'm I've been using the engine pretty much non-stop occasionally using one of my drippers but I've always gone back to the to the engine so I personally absolutely love it now the build that I've got in this uh, is a twisted 27 gauge um, 430 st st steel, stainless steel um, I don't know if you can see that very well on there um, 8 wraps and it's great it comes out about 0.2 ohms I run it in temperature control so it's about 480 degrees Fahrenheit, about 90 watts, and it, it's great. I, I love it. I think it's um, I think it's a great little RTA. Hello, you can see me. Hello. Um, oops, look at the camera. Right, let's get on with this. Stop, stop babbling. For this, I'm going to be using Muji. Now, I must admit, for the engine, I've been using cotton bacon. Um, I find it seems to perform better than Muji. I don't know if it's because cotton bacon is more absorbent. I don't know if it's, you know, some some magic vaping fairies that make the juice move quicker. I don't know. But I just find that, you know, the flavour is more dense. It wicks a lot better. I'm not getting as many kind of dry hits. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with Muji, you know, I still use Muji for certain things, but with the engine, I do feel that cotton bacon is better. Just my opinion, obviously. Um, what I do with the Muji, um, this is a fresh pad, straight out of the packet. Um, I just gently halve it. Difficult to do this on camera, so it might not be even. Yeah, I just split it in half. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm sorry if you can't see this. Obviously, it's white, so it's not easy to. So yeah, I'm just gently splitting it. Where's the centre? There it is. Yeah, so half and half. Put that to one side. Now, I'm just going to gently pat down the little fluffy bits. So you've got the rough bit on the outside, fluffy bit on the inside. Okay. Right, let's carry on. What I tend to do with the width, in fact, always make sure with Muji that you cut down, you know, follow the grain of the cotton. What I tend to do is with the width of it as a kind of general gauge, I will I will cut it four times the width of the coil. Now this coil is a three millimeter coil, um, so I will, I mean, I'm doing this by eye, you will find if you've only just started sorry I'm cutting this off camera difficult to do where is it there it is what you will tend to find if you're just starting wicking and coiling and things like that please 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 don't be put off if you make mistakes we've all made mistakes all these videos that you see on YouTube you know of them doing this and that. that's a bit thin actually see I've made a mistake I did that on purpose, obviously, just to show you that, you know, we make mistakes. I'm too busy looking at the camera instead of the wick. Right, do that again. Okay, there we go. Yeah, as I was saying, all these videos that you see, me included, as you've just seen yourself, where they've been on camera, we make mistakes. Yeah, so if you make a mistake and you bugger something up, just try again. Don't give up, you know, just carry on. Keep doing it. 
It's like if you, you know, you're just learning to drive and you get in a car with somebody that's been driving for 20 years and they, they can practically drive with their eyes, well, not with their eyes closed, but you know what I mean? They're not looking at the gear stick, they're not doing this, they're not doing that, and you think, oh my God, how do they do that? They've been driving for 20 years. You know, it's the same with vaping. A lot of people have been doing it for years. <clears throat> they can do this practically, you know, in about two seconds. Anyway, bubbling again. So, with the wick, what I do, this is the rough bit that was on originally on the outside of the pad. What I do with Muji is I just kind of fold it in half and then twist, twist the ends. Well, the reason for that is so that you've got a nice thin end to feed through the wick, the wick, the coil. Not enough coffee today. Yep, and then gently pull it through. Now, you want quite a bit of resistance, especially with twisted and claptons and all that kind of thing. You're not as much with single strand coils but you do want a bit of resistance the reason for that if you don't know is once you've got the juice on there the cotton will expand yeah and it will have good contact with the coil because you want good contact you don't want it to be loose and flapping around because otherwise you could get spitting and all kinds of rubbish going in your mouth and hot juice on your tongue and you don't want that so make sure it's nice and snug, not to the point where it's distorting your coil and it's pulling everything, but enough resistance. And again, that is something that will come with experience. You know, you'll get to know what's too tight, what's too loose. Now, cutting this, what I do is I use the edge. Oops, camera's gone again. Edge of the deck. Yep. Yeah, so I get the scissors and I use the edge of the deck. Snip. These scissors, by the way, if you're interested, they're just cheap um, hairdressing scissors. Um, very good for cutting cotton. Incredibly good for cutting hair, apparently. Uh, again, I'm just going to use the edge of the deck. So I'm resting the scissors on on this bit, on the inner bit. Yeah. That's the scissors. Cut. Yeah. And you get two little um. Oh. Yeah. Two little bow ties. Yeah. Two little lovely bow ties. I'm just going to even them out a bit. Okay. Then what I do is I fluff up the cotton with the fingers, or you can use. I like to use a little jeweler screwdriver. I don't know why. I just do. Yep. Now, as you can see, it's very fluffy. No, oh, I'm doing it off camera. Rubbish. Okay. No wonder I don't get paid for doing this. Right. So it's lovely and fluffy. Now. Me, personally, what I like to do is just trim the ends, you know, go away, just a bit, just to, just to give it a little bit of a tidy up, and then the tops, yeah, just a little trim, not much, just to kind of thin it out a bit, yeah, so as you can see there, that one might be a bit too long. See, I'm just going to trim that a bit more as I did before. Just use the deck as a guide. Yeah. Right now, then, with placing the wick, all I do is I just turn it to the side. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see this, let me get it centered so it's and I just fold it under. It's still a bit too long actually. Okay. Just gonna give it a trim. You do, all you want when you're doing the wick is, is just literally resting on top of the coils, on top of the holes. Yeah, so again, just fold it under. I'm not i I'm not putting the cotton down the holes. I'm just resting it on top. Same with this. Push it in. Yeah, that's the bit I cut off before. Push it in. And all you've got to make sure is just look at the deck. Just make sure it's covering the holes. Yeah. I mean, don't faff about with it too much because you don't want to mess about with the the cotton. You don't want to distort it. You still want it fluffy. Okay. So I'm just going to pause it and do the other side. 
Okay, and we're back. Uh, I've just put the other the other wick in, and I'm just gonna I'm just to the point now where I'm just gonna tuck it under. So as we were doing before. Now what I'm gonna do actually on here, because Muji, the other thing I've noticed about Muji is it's it's very disobedient. It doesn't like doesn't like to do what you want it to do sometimes. So what I'm going to do with this one, I'm just going to show you a different method. I am going to wet the tails of the wick. Not much. I'm just going to dab the juice on. Probably find this is easier. There's a couple, I mean it's difficult. For me I'm doing it on camera so normally it's dead easy. But all I'm doing, as you can see, I've not... Let's see if I can focusing on that. I've not soaked it just enough to be able to maneuver. Yeah, you probably find this is a lot easier. And then just took it took it under. When I say took it under, don't took it down the hole. Just took it under. Because the cotton will naturally fall into the hole. I'm going to shut up talking now so I can concentrate. Yep, so I'm just going to wet the wicks. Just not loads, because with the engine it can spit at you to start with. So I'm just wetting them. I'm just all I'm doing now is just kind of maneuvering. Again, just enough. I'm just wetting it enough. To be able to position it. Now, being very, very gentle with it, I'm not forcing it. Because what I tend to like to do as well is just make sure that there's no cotton going on the outside of the deck. Simply because when I put the top on, I don't want it to be trapping the cotton. So we're talking about the top, remember with the engine make sure that the notches are in line with the posts, because that's where the, the holes are. Yep, pull it on until it clicks in place. Screw it on. Now don't screw it on too tight, just enough so it's rubbish on my trip tip and then just I've already filled this um, but I just let the juice run down I'm going to refill it actually so I'll, this is the thing I love about OBS stuff it's just the way it's just so damn easy to fill and all I do is I just wait for that to slip down some people say that if you overfill it it can spit it can flood the deck if the deck does flood and for a few pulls it's spitting a couple of things either blow out when you're taking a vape or use some kitchen towel excuse me while I eat the juice some people find that disgusting I don't personally and that's it so I'm just going to pause it again put it on the mod and see how it's boo um, yep, yeah, so I've just been um, waiting for it to wick for a couple of minutes, and there's the camera. Hello, not there. That's the centre of the screen. I'm looking at the centre. Now I'm looking at the camera. Centre, camera, centre, camera. So yeah, I've left it to wick a couple of minutes, if that. Um, if you can see that, is it focusing? No. Anyway, what that says is 480 degrees Fahrenheit, 92 watts. So, there's the camera. Not too shabby. As you can see, keeping up using Muji. Um, 
And any questions, please feel free to comment in the link below, the link, the comments below. And um, I hope that's helped some of you. Um, until next time, I hope to see you now then, bye.